Hello and welcome back to Terraformer Craft. This is episode 28 and this episode after a lot of grinding and exploring uh, okay lag there we go and again <laughs> we may finally have enough of what we need for the blast furnace uh, to finally get it up and running so we could start making steel and black steel and blue steel and uh, pretty much get done what we need to do uh, in terms of what I want to accomplish uh, metalworking wise so the uh, only thing that we need to do is need to start making the fire clay bricks also okay right I have it over here in this chest oh uh, we need the crucible out here too so let's get that out. Um, still haven't figured out if whether or not the ore cooker, you know, cooking limonite is going to work in terms of the Udari mod. So uh, we'll have to see about that. Uh, hopefully that ends up working. But if not, oh well. Also, as you, as you may have just quickly glimpsed in my inventory, uh, strawberries and gooseberries. Yeah, they finally started, finally started producing fruit. Uh, all three gooseberry bushes uh, produce fruit, and uh, so far four of the strawberry ones produce fruit. So, which reminds me actually, we need to, uh, I want to test out drying mats. I think this goes like that, that, no, that, no, no. How does it go? Drying mat. Oh, right, we need a knife. Okay. Uh, so we'll make, I think one dries up four, can dry up four at a time. So we'll go with that. And we'll do it with the strawberries just to test it out. Uh, we, the strawberries can't be used for vinegar. So uh, that should work out just fine. I will have this out over here. Oh, it is just one at a time. Okay. I'll just get rid of the little bit of the least bit of decay that we that's on there. And I guess for the other drying fruit other drying mat, we'll just have this probably have them out here more often than not. Maybe right there for now. Okay. So Okay, so we get our mortar. And the fire bricks. And there we go. That's enough for two layers. Okay, so right, I need to crucible. Okay, so put that there. Then the blast furnace. Actually, we need to wait with in terms of that. Uh, first, we need to take care of this. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, good. We got it back. Whew. <laughs> that was that would have been bad. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll just put the jack lantern up here. Oh no, we can't. Uh huh. Okay, planks. That should work, right? <laughs> okay, I guess we'll do something like that. Yeah, it has to be in a particular. It has to be in a particular uh, shape, build, for the whole thing to work. Let's get this back. I guess we'll just make the other one into a into a block. I forgot to mention last episode, uh, since we spent most of it out up north, away from base camp. I uh, finished up the pillar, like the support pillar, just for the in terms of looks. I uh, used the smooth uh, walls for it. I figured it has a pretty works out pretty nicely. Uh, it's not too busy looking, and uh, works as a a pillar like looking structure thing. <laughs> so back up we go. Uh, There's a weird thing with textures. If you if you can tell, looking on my uh, hotbar, <laughs> it's kind of 
sideways looking <laughs> one of the textures uh, now it looks now it's fine but uh, I think not enough items tends to mess around with that on occasion so get up here oh okay oh I'll just move that out of the way for now okay so that's the first layer and uh, that's pretty much what we need okay good you smart moving to get up there there we go <laughs> it kind of makes fence gates a little obsolete uh, because look whoop. <laughs> yeah I could just climb right over it but um, I guess just in case oh, we will just have it there for now uh, I think the Sun needs to be up in order for that to really start going okay Stinking bathroom sounds. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. So, the iron sheets, the way they need to go in particular for this, uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of acrobats here. Acrobatics, I should say. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. One, two, there, there. On all different sides. So, yeah. Unlike signs, iron sheets are a bit more flexible. Okay. And last side. Okay, and last but not least. Ta da! <laughs> wow. Whew! Finally. Okay, so in retrospect, I might actually start doing a little bit of decorating here. I think I'm going to move these out of the way and start having the bricks on the corners here. Maybe use the chisel to decorate it up a little bit. So, okay. We'll go and pick that up real quick. Bush, get out of my lawn. Get off my lawn. <laughs> uh, what, what was I looking for again? Good. All right. Yeah. More jute fiber head going in there. I also was in the process of making more leather. So we just get this out. And with this, the blast furnace, I think, operates similarly to the bloomery in that it needs charcoal. Okay. Yeah. Something like that will work. Maybe we'll slim this out a bit on the outside to kind of make it uh, blend in with how the uh, <laughs> with how the sheets are here. I guess we'll, we'll figure something out. So, yeah, when you have a particular amount of ore and a particular amount of charcoal... Uh, oh, we also need a tuyere. Or a tuyere. Tuyere. Something. Something French-looking. <laughs> um, it's like a pipe sort of thing. And uh, I forgot to craft one. <laughs> So, oops. Okay, right. These should be done. Good. There we go. Uh, and how do we make them into leather again? Been a little while. Uh, <laughs> right. They need to be soaked in... Oh, that's right. Tannin. <laughs> haven't, done, haven't made any of that in a while. Uh, you know what? Empty the lime water. Yeah, I'll just work with that for now. Uh, oh, I forgot I was making wheat flour. Oh, actually, I think I was going to make dough with that, wasn't I? Oh, no, I was trying to make whiskey with that, but didn't quite know how to make it then. Okay, we'll leave that in there for now. So, right, a tuyer. Uh, we're definitely going to need iron for it. So, I think... Not entirely sure how many we're going to need in order to work it into one. Uh, something like, yeah, like that. Wrought iron to year. 
Double sheets, wow, okay. Oh, uh, that's a little expensive. Dang, Fwabbit. Can I make a Browns one? Maybe I'll make a Browns one. That'll be a little quicker. Won't last as long, of course. But... So, we need... Yeah, we just need two. I mean, four. <laughs> and we'll get that going. Oh, fire starter. Should probably just make flint and steel at this point now. But uh, even though fire starters are pretty easy to make, and iron is something you generally want to use uh, conservatively if you don't have a huge source of it around. And even though I have plenty of magnetite around close by, and also maybe a little bit of limonite left over from that spot over there. Uh, still want to be careful with how, how much I use it. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Good thing that we're using bronze instead of iron. Because it won't take nearly as long. But uh, anyway, this gives me a little bit of time to discuss what was done off camera. Any changes? Uh... <laughs> Pretty much a whole bunch of elderberry bushes are now along the side here. Uh, I just figured kind of put them there because why not? Oh, look, strawberries. Uh, and also one elderberry bush is here. Uh, planted a couple of red apple trees. Also uh, three lemon trees down below. Right, awesome. Oh, right, we need a... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Get to the strawberries before they dry out too much. Oh, no, they already dried. Okay. Huh. That didn't take too long at all. Maybe because the sun's up. Okay. Yeah, the only thing about drying that you want to keep in mind is that it takes away half of the amount of fruit that you originally had. So I think I had around 22, and now it's already down to 11. Or was down to 11, I should say. But, uh, so the cherry trees stopped... Stopped blossoming, the flowers at least. Uh, yeah, down there are the three lemon trees. Planted one, a couple of them a little bit too close to each other. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't impact anything. Ooh, yikes, we need to be careful with this. Whoo, that was close. Okay, good. Okay, right, this should be pretty quick. Haven't done any metalworking on camera in a long while. Okay, come on, there we go. And day two, yeah. So last few moves have to be... Okay, no, that was two. Nope. <laughs> okay. Metal working is not a Oh shoot. Dang it. Okay, we'll try to get that firing up again. Uh, might as well make an extra crucible. Yeah, just now, just one for the uh, for the forge. Since we're using one now for the blast furnace. Okay, so how to operate the blast furnace? I guess with what we have in terms of ore right now, uh, which right now that would be a bunch of magnetite that I have left over, that I have not yet smelted. Uh, which would be in a couple of ceramic vessels right down there. Uh, when we put that into the into the blast furnace, it'll eventually make pig iron, which we need to eventually work into steel. Uh, it takes a couple of uh, it takes a couple of oh no, that's not what I want. Uh, it takes a couple of little different processes in order to work. There we go. Okay. All right, second time's the charm. Okay, so hopefully that lasts longer, uh, lasts as long as we need it to. And 
in order for us to make a, a decent amount of steel. But uh, okay. So I don't know if this works exactly like the bloomery, but uh, maybe it's just a matter of tossing it in. In that case, I might need to make a, uh, a ladder that goes up here. <laughs> or I could just climb up. Maybe not. Oh yeah, because you know what? These don't count as blocks, so I can't use the... Uh, yeah, I can't use the smart moving to get up there. Think Flabbit. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to, actually. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay, so, you know, I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to check the wiki real quick. Uh, see exactly the right way to do this without wasting any iron or charcoal. Okay, so the deal with the blast furnace is that we always need to have... Uh, in terms of ore, there needs to be uh, an equal amount or a greater amount of charcoal than ore. So I think we need to get up here and toss some charcoal into the into the blast furnace. I don't think this worked. Oh shoot! No. Thanks for it. <laughs> Okay, that may work. Oh, you know what? It might be full right now. Huh. Yeah, I think I just picked up a bunch of that. Yeah, I did. Okay. So it looks like I took eight. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it definitely took some. Uh, so let me see if I get some rich magnetite up into there. Okay, that didn't quite work. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'm going to need a higher way up here. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I need to want to grab some bricks again. Okay, so that's done. We can stack those, good. Alright, make sure we don't waste any coal here. Okay, right. Get some bricks out, and let's just do something like this. Oh, you know what? That's not going to work. Needs to be a little bit farther than the... Maybe like another block apart. Hmm. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll have the ladder on the outside. Won't have exactly the, the nicest look in the world, but at least it'll work. There we go. Okay. So, we're just tossing in, toss it in like that? Or does this need to be taller? Oh, you know what? Another thing I read up is that we need we need bellows. So uh, let me check down here real quick. Make sure I didn't toss any magnetite down here by accident. There's some charcoal, and that was one piece of it. <laughs> Did one of them end up falling in? Oh no, here it is. Okay. So yeah, another another bellows. Uh, good thing I was making some of that. Some of that leather before. Uh, leather. Bellows is a. It's lumber and uh, the leather, right? Yeah. Okay, so I've got two, not enough. Dang it. Okay. So, tannin. Tannin. I need chestnut trees, right? Okay, so I'll work on that real quick. And then we'll see what we can do with the with the blast furnace in the meantime. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, I didn't realize I was going to have to make <laughs> a bunch more of it. Oh! Uh, I'm not sure if I touched this on a uh, on an earlier episode, but uh, in terms of... In terms of uh, making cheese, or just uh, taking care of getting enough dairy, uh, apparently we... As you can see right there, we actually don't need to have milk processed into cheese right off the bat. We can actually drink it. Uh, that's something that I th don't know if it was added recently or not. Uh, yeah, as far as I know, it was already in it for a little while. Not too sure. But uh, good to know. Because <laughs> uh, that, yeah, that pretty much takes care of our dairy. Okay. Yeah, so um, for whatever reason, food for me, at least that, that I have stored down in the chests, uh, has been decaying at a pretty slow rate, even when we've been out for a, for a long while. Uh, I don't know if just last time it was because uh, some of the stuff that did decay completely uh, was just left out for so long when we took out, took that, or not took, but made the journey up north between episodes 14 to 17. Yeah, just not sure if the I spent a lot more time than I thought I did. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I guess we're gonna see how the uh, how we get the blast furnace up and running uh, next episode. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Terraformacraft, and I shall see you next time in episode twenty-nine.